Well, hi, everybody, and welcome to Today in Iowa. I wanted to review the uh, Frontier Forks that I purchased uh, when I originally got my tractor. Now watch. Did you see how that higher fence with the Frontier Forks protected the front of that tractor? That timber uh, swung by there and surprised me, but I was really glad it had the higher fence on that uh, fork lift. I see there's other companies out there that sell them without that higher part, and I really like that. You know the forks, they switch out so doggone easy. I've got some uh, rolling carts that I put all my attachments on and roll them around the shop, pull out the forks, you know, a couple of uh, pins, and uh, you've got your forks on and away you go. It just could not be easier. This is a terrific design. I like this. Here you can clearly see that higher fence I was trying to describe. I like that. I think that's uh, good protection for the front of my tractor really handy as I bring attachments home to get them unloaded safely. This is really eliminated lifting for me and I really like that at my age now. Here's those timbers. I had relocated them around to another area of my property. I imagine I'll move them five or six more times before I finally decide what I'm going to do with them. That's just the way uh, a man does things, right? Hey, you've all heard the saying, what's the two best days in a boat owner's life? The day he buys the boat, the day he sells it. I've experienced that. I know that's true. Well, it's the same thing with scaffolding. The house here behind the tractor, I have to stain every four or five years. And I used to do it from scaffold, and I'm not doing it anymore. Anything that requires me to get up higher than a step ladder is going to be done by hiring a uh, articulating lift so I can do it much safer. Here I'm getting the uh, scaffold ready for the uh, new owner. The forks sure proved handy here. I just went under, picked them up. I put a red strap around the top there. You can see that's another advantage of that higher fence there on the forks. The ability to strap things to that and move them around my property real easy. As I bring uh, attachments home, uh, it sure is nice to be able to unload them off of the uh, pickup truck safely. Here I just purchased a wood chipper that I'll be reviewing over the winter. And it sure was nice to be able to just take it off of the pickup truck. This was kind of an impulse purchase. I didn't take my trailer along that I usually do. So the, uh, the dealer put it in my pickup truck and it was nice knowing that when I got home I wasn't going to uh, be at any risk of getting hurt with the forks. This is the only criticism that I have of John Deere steel. I wish they would get some kind of uh, valve that would allow you to lower and tilt back at the same time so they didn't each have to be an independent function. They've got to have engineers that know how to do this. I don't know why they do this design on this, this tractor. Seems foolish to me. I put all my implements, uh, obviously, on pallets because it's just so doggone easy to move them around from my shop to where I want to use them. Uh, you're going to see later in the film I put casters on some of the uh, pallets so I can move them around my shop real easy. Again, the combination of the pallets and the implements, it just makes it very easy to move around. Here's the example I was just telling you about. I put some heavy-duty casters on. And so once I get it to the shop, I can put it over to the corner and get it out of the way. Uh, here I had a case. You can always find free pallets in town. People want to give them away. So it's real easy to throw a couple in the truck and bring them home. Here's an example of using the forks to drag some cattle panels around my property and get it to another area that I wanted to use them. I've used it to prop up firewood. Uh, that I want to cut and chunk it off and uh, if the tree's too big to pick up I'll pick it up on one side and there chop it up. There is. There's 980 pound bags on there so 720 pounds. One more I could barely lift it off the ground maybe an inch or two but this is about it. This is maxed out just a little over 700 pounds. I can lift it to what I want. Note that I have the uh, backhoe on, in this case, carrying about, well, let's call it 750 pounds. 
everything's working out pretty good. It can't get real high, but it can get high enough to transport. When I transport round things, I use a pallet, and that creates some notches and prevents the uh, round things from rolling off the forks. Pretty straightforward and works very well. So we have 20 pa we have we have 20 bags, 36 pounds each bag. So we've got 720 pounds here on the tractor. Let's see if it'll lift it. For all practical purposes, I don't have much weight in the back end, so I expect it to be real, real heavy if it'll even lift it. Funny how it won't lift the 720 pounds this time. Now, I don't have the idle up as fast, that's true. I don't have the backhoe on as a counterbalance either. Okay, this is 16 bags at 36 pounds a bag, 576 pounds. I'll bet the pallet's 50 pounds, 40 to 50 pounds, though. This is on a 600 pounds. You know, this isn't anything scientific. Don't, don't take it that way. But... The 1025 will lift between seven, excuse me, six and seven hundred pounds. That's all I needed to do. And if I have to make a couple trips, it's no big deal. Here I am putting my uh, attachments away now after a job. I'm putting it on the uh, pallet casters, and I'll roll it to the corner of the garage. The forks sure do come in handy loading uh, some implements that I want to take up to a job. Here I'm loading the tiller for the brother-in-law's Saudi job that I recently posted. Very handy. Well, that's going to wrap up this episode of Today in Iowa. On the next few episodes, I'm going to review the 18-foot uh, uh, car trailer we recently acquired. And I'm going to show you how I dug through a propane line. Yeah, that was uh, real brilliant. We're going to demonstrate the wood chopper over to a buddy's house cleaning that up. Got a lot of videos coming forward. I really appreciate you watching so long for now. Have a nice week.